Ladies and gentlemen, I've got a super quick video for you today. Really just a side note of one that I thought some people might find useful. It has to do with waveform generation and the degenerate program known as Adobe Premiere Pro. For whatever reason, this program requires more restarts, workarounds, and weird fixes than pretty much any program I've ever used. So the other day when I opened a project that I'd started earlier, I was surprised to find no waveforms during my audio only track. Worth noting is that they were there last time I opened. So I did what most Premiere Pro users do and headed to Google to find a solution. Unfortunately, none of them worked. These included clicking the wrench icon on the timeline and ensuring that show audio waveform was checked. As you can see, that evidently wasn't the source of the problem. Next, it was suggested that I ensure automatic audio waveform generation was selected in my audio preferences. Again, doesn't appear to be unchecked, so no problems there. So, as per usual, this is a WTF hair pulling moment that Adobe has once again conjured up. Finally, I did find one more video that suggested clearing media cache and deleting all audio and video previews from the project, project file. Uh, once again, good idea but no dice. Then, as is often the case, I found a non-ideal workaround that at least got me through this project. What worked was this, the render and replace function within Premiere Pro. Go ahead and make sure your audio and video are unlinked. Then, right click if you're on a PC and click render and replace from the quick menu. Voila, we have our waveforms back. As I mentioned ab above and before, this is not ideal, but unfortunately that is commonly the case with this program. And that's it. I know this video is completely outside of my normal topics, but nevertheless I've got to ask. If you happen to find this video useful, a like, share, or subscribe is appreciated. If not, go ahead and crush that thumbs down button.